tell my niggas we gon' run it up They used to hate, now they wanna be us I see you fake, ain't getting my trust We was so cool and then you switched up But fuck it, I'm hot, I'm finna roll up Plus I get this lean inside of my cup I'm a big dog, little boy, you a pup I never show it, but know that it's tuck Yeah, I was down, now I got a bag How can you hate, go get you some cash They say I'm fake, they left in the past We is not cool, we just went to class If she my girl, she gotta be bad And curving these niggas ain't What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Chris back at it again with a new vid from 901's five kicks so yeah so today we're finna get into something a little bit different of course everybody knows on saturday they dropped two different sb collaborations one the york the new york to paris and then the other one the la to chicago pair of course just like many people and just like i did i took a big l on them just unfortunately i definitely wanted them just in the collection but hey it is what it is so I didn't look up to get that pair, but I actually did get the 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 New York, the Paris pair about a week, week and a half early before the actual release date. So that particular pair, I actually have laced it up, did something crazy with the laces and actually rocked them just on feet already. But I've been contemplating about it. I really wasn't sure if I actually wanted to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and strip the paint on it. But I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't seen nobody do yet. Okay, so pretty much everybody else, they've been, you know, they've either been stripping it completely down or they've been giving it that worn kind of look, that skateboarder look, technically, which is supposed to do to it or whatever. And for me, I've always been a fan of the homage to home, Jordan 1. So one side of it is a bread, the other side is a Chicago. So that's what I'm going to do with this shoe. I'm going to tape it straight down the middle and I'm going to strip one side of each, each pair of the shoes. So, and get that, that certain type of look. So hopefully it works out like the way I think it's going. If not, worst case scenario, I just have to strip the whole shoe. But I got some really good tape that's supposed to release and not leave any residue or nothing like that. And it's not supposed to be super sticky, but it is supposed to block. So that's what I'm hoping. So we're going to get to it. We're going to knock this joint out and see how it comes out. I think it's going to be a dope way. To rock this shoe and you get to see the best of the both worlds of the shoe so but yeah but definitely if this is your first time to the channel definitely please do subscribe hit the notification bell like comment let's do the thing let's chop it up in the comment section as with anybody i definitely appreciate appreciate y'all coming to the channel i definitely you know enjoy interacting with any and everybody and you know what i'm saying it's definitely a blessing so i appreciate y'all but Let's go ahead and get to this video. All right, so basically this is the shoe right here. So as y'all can see, this is um, how I ended up lacing it up. Did a split down the middle, just like the, you know, the Hummus to Home actually. So one side I did gray and black, the other side I did black and that, that high kind of pink color. So, yeah. So I'm finna get ready to go ahead and start on this shoe. I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna do the tape off on this one and go ahead and start stripping one side of the paint. So what I'm gonna do is this side will be the New York colorway and this side will be the Paris colorway. So let's go ahead and get to it. This is the tape that I decided to get. This is uh, some, duck, some duck painters tape and it's supposed to be clean release. So we're gonna see how this works. Of course, we got some cotton balls. Got nail polish remover. That pocket. Some, some, um, these are, I forgot, these ain't latex, but these are some gloves. Yeah. And some Q-tips. So, it's pretty much everything that you, you should need to do this process. And of course, you know, if you hear somebody in the background, that's my little one. You know, so she in here playing with all my pop figures and stuff over there. So eventually, I'm gonna end up doing a video on that too. It was the bag. Yeah. Yeah, guys. And I'm so funny. Yeah, it's a good one. It's dumb. As you can see, this uh, took a little second to kind of. Get the tape all the way up in the creases how it should be. I'm trying to keep it for, from where it doesn't bleed to this section of it. 
And of course, this is my actually my second time taping it, so it did uh, release okay, really well and didn't have no issues with leaving any residue or anything like that. So I think we're good to go. So now I'm gonna go to the back side of the shoe, and then this is gonna be the difficult part, trying to get everything lined up and going straight all the way down to make a perfectly straight line. So. So this is the backside taped up. So I think it's a pretty much almost a perfect split between the backside of it. So we should be good. And of course, we go the front side of it also. So we think we're ready to get into it. We're gonna see what it looks like. No. All right, so we're gonna get back to it. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the cap of this right now. Cause uh, as far as like really close to the tape, I'm going to use the, the Q-tips for this because I don't want to just go at it with the cotton ball and just soak it and and by chance it, it you know, end up bleeding through the tape. So we're going to be real careful with this one. Make sure I don't get no paint on me. So go ahead and put these gloves on real quick. Because I really don't know how messy it's going to get. So I don't want to take no chances. All right. Wait, why? Make your question. It's a two one this year. Yeah, so that it's that right there, it came out really easy. So I think uh, I think this is gonna be right on like I wanted it to be too. Daddy, daddy, your table. It's a it's a it's a You know, both tones of the, the shoe broken down and you can see, you know, this right, this method right here is working pretty good. Now, of course, once I get to the, the basic normal part of it, I'm going to end up just, um, you know, probably use cotton balls and stuff like that to make the process go a little bit faster. But these areas right here, right along the edges of the paint, you know, just to try to keep that line crisp, I suggest using some, some cotton swabs. Do the majority of this shoe without too much of the sucking through the paint, uh, the paint shape. So, gonna bust this open oh. and I'm get me a cotton swab out of here. Same thing, dip it in the solution. fact before I forget let me go ahead and just unlace this and I should have did this to begin with just to make sure it don't let this paint get on none of these shoe strings so, all right so let's get back to rubbing off this pink I mean it's gray to reveal the pink well it ain't actually pink this is yeah you know, I guess you'll say um like a peach color now the rest of it where, the, where it's covering, uh, being covered up by the black, that's a pink. Sauce, I got too much sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce. I be dripping sauce. Too much sauce, too much sauce. I got too much sauce. She like my sauce, like my sauce. She said she like my sauce. I'm making all these plays now. I feel like a young boss. Finna hit the mall. I'ma buy. Don't care what the cost. Them boys hating cause we at the top. But them niggas lost. Plug through the sack so I had caught it like I'm Randy Moss. New car, new boo, new shoes. Bitch, I can't see you. I heard your homeboy turn. Sauce. Sauce. I got 
that two more sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce, I be dripping sauce. Two more sauce, two more sauce, I got two more sauce. She like my sauce, like my sauce, she says she like my sauce. I'm making all these plays now, product. I feel like a young. We go to New York side, we go to Paris side. Split straight down the middle just like the homage to home would be. Same thing in the back. Definitely, I like the way it looks, it's different. Like I said, I haven't seen anybody do this yet. Who knows, somebody might think about it and try to do it later, but you know, I said, you know, hey, let me go ahead and jump on it and do it like this. Cause everybody else, they're just doing like the distressed look or they just stripping it all together. So I said, I want to do something a little, do, a little bit different, be a little bit different, so you know. So here they go. As you can see, they're pretty much split down the middle. Um, the inside is the Paris side, and then of course, the outside is the New York side. So, of course, this side I got the peach lace on, this side I got the gray lace on. Same thing, pretty much split, you know. So, go up close, show y'all some details of it. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all seen this shoe many a times. I actually already did a review on it also, but I'm going to give y'all the close-ups of it. So y'all can see how crisp the lines are, are pretty much considering, you know. Then go around to this side, and then you can get to see the whole picture of how, you know, this is that peach and kind of uh, a hottish pink kind of color. Then, of course, going around to the back, this is the one part that I really didn't show too well because it was out of frame. And, of course, you know, you see the straight line going all the way down uh, where it splits. I mean, it's pretty dope. Uh, and then, of course, here go the right shoe. It has the gray laces in it. Same thing. Split straight down the middle. Going to the inside of the shoe. You get that, that Paris colorway. I'm going to the rear. You just split straight down the middle the same way. And then, going back around to the New York side. And so... I think it's pretty dope. This is just a different way of trying to do it. You know, of course, everybody's gonna work it and do it their own styles and ways. Um, and I just figured this might be something that'd be a little bit neat and different from everybody else. Cause like I said in the beginning of it, everybody's either stripping the paint completely off the shoe or they're doing a worn distressed look. So I said, hey, you know, like I said, I like the homes to homes. So let me just split it and do it like this. So any any point in time, you, you see one side of the shoe, you see the inside of the shoe, like, dang, those two different shoes. But, you know, anyways, but this is, uh, you know, my video on how to strip the paint on the shoe without damaging the underneath paint. And then, you know, give me all an idea what the colors look like once you do it. So... As always, it's your boy Young Chris from 901's Five Kicks. We out this jump. Sauce, sauce, I got two more sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce, I be dripping.